these people living here would have only three weeks of time to live here. They have to go. When a river changes its course, we call a motion. And where it is switched is called a motion load. A motion load. No. Okay. So when sediment carried here and piled sediment and deposit, when the river bed rises up, basically the channel is clogged, right? So water will find the lower spot to go. So therefore, sediment plays a huge role for the river chain, channel. Here to here, 300 miles. Here to here, 150 miles. So because of the shorter distance, the river, the gradient is steeper, and uh, the river tries to come here to its ancient channel. Now, I did an analysis of the data, and I compared the, the flow from the Mississippi River into the Atchafalaya. So what we see is constant increase in trend of the flow from the Mississippi River into the Atchafalaya. So it looks like that the entire Mississippi River would go into the Atchafalaya. So this is already 40%. So 40% at this time, 40% of the Mississippi River's flow into the Atchafalaya. Now, this is a picture of what we see today. So today, we have uh, three structures here. But uh, the water diverges mainly at these two low CO and the auxiliary. I want to show you what happened with, uh, with the Atchafalaya River after this structural spirit. Hence, Albert Einstein, the famous Einstein's younger son, he was a hydraulic professor at the University of California at Berkeley. He was a consultant hired by Army Corps engineer. At the time when they built the control structure, their main goal was to divert the water, control water, not flow too much into the Old River channel, into the Atchafalaya. That was their goal. But they already realized they cannot just simply divert a river by 20%, 25% or 30% without considering sediment. Because, like I said, this is an alluvial river. You have to think about the sediment. The problem was they couldn't figure out how much sediment would run into the Atchafalaya, how much would remain. By the time they created the built the control structure, nobody was, can confidently say how much sediment would go into the Atchafalaya. That was a huge problem. Einstein, at the time, already said where the sediment to remain in the Mississippi, the Mississippi would sooner or later change its channel. If the channel here is aggregated, 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 when you have a flood, water will push back. So it's like a, a pipe clogged, and the water rises up, will overpower your control structure, and will suddenly change its course. See, water almost overpowered the old river control structure. So if the Mississippi River flow overpowered the structure, the flow will completely switch to the Atchafalaya River, and uh, that probably will clog this channel permanent for another couple of hundred years or thousand years. This is a satellite image taken in 1985. This is a satellite image taken in 2015. So what you say is look at this bar in the center. This bar has become elongated, longer, and this bar become much larger and uh, there wasn't a bar here at Angola. This is Angola prisoner. But now there's a huge sandbar stretched several miles long and very wide. 
and piled with sand. We analyzed the change of the bar in shape, volume, and to, to figure out how much sediment can be trapped by bars during a flood. So here is all the river control structure up. In the past 30 years, from 1985 to 2015, the channel has narrowed dramatically by 800 meters. 25 years ago, the river stage was here, but for the same volume of flow, the stage increased by 2.2 meters or 7 feet. So because of the reduction of flow capacity, the water, flood water, would be backed up. We found 400 million cubic yards of sand. This is a tremendously large amount of sand. And this sand would essentially move downstream. And when that happened, it will be clogged. It will be seeded here because of the higher elevation and making the river change its course. If uh, the Mississippi River suddenly switches course to the Atchafalaya, the problem, problem one would be drinking water issue for New Orleans because this whole entire great New Orleans area, including New Orleans, Huma, and this whole area, and has about a population of about one and a half million people living. This people have to leave, and they have to leave very fast. So if Mississippi River switched to the Atchafalaya River, then the Gulf salt water were into it, into it, along the river, all the way up to Betonuch. These people living here would have only three weeks of time to live here. They have to go. Number two, for capital area, for Betonuch. We already are having, starting to have salt water intuition problem right now here in our groundwater. What's the problem for you guys in the Atchafalaya? We're very clear. It would, would be widespread flood. So Morgan City would be flooded. And so the data will grow very fast. No question because of million tons of sediment coming in. Until, they will create a land. Until one day it shifts again. Yeah, yeah. Until one day it shifts again, yes. If the gigantic flow comes into the Atchafalaya, then it's over. It will shape its way. And we, don't, we cannot even predict how the channel will go.